Hi there, Duffy. What's going on, pal? Hey, Tweety. Not much, just talking it easy. What about you? Just trying to avoid that silly old putty tat. You know how it goes. Yeah, those wabbits and putty tats are always causing trouble. Ever think about talking a break from all the chasing? Break? What's that, Duffy? I'm always on the lookout. Can't let my guard down. Well, sometimes it's nice to relax, smell the flowers, maybe nibble on some carrots. You ever try that? Carrots? Oh, I thought I saw a carrot once, but it turned out to be a cleverly disguised putty tat. You gotta be careful with those tricky carrots. But seriously, Tweety, a little relaxation never hurt anyone. Relaxation, huh? I'll think about it, but I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. I get it. Reputation's important. But remember, even the busiest birds need a break now and then. Maybe you're right, Duffy. Say, how about we share some carrots and enjoy a lazy afternoon together? Sounds like a plan, Tweety. Let's kick back, relax, and watch the clouds go by. No putty tats allowed. Hee <laughs> hee, sounds good to me, pal. Let's enjoy the simple things in life. You got it, Tweety. Now, tell me, have you ever thought about what life would be like without all the wabbit chasing? Well, not wee wee. I'm kinda used to the whole, I taught I taught putty tat routine, you know? Fair enough, Tweety. But imagine a world where you could soar through the skies without a care, no putty tats, no worries. That sounds pretty nice, Duffy. But then, who would I outsmart and outweep? True, true. But sometimes, a change of pace can lead to new adventures and surprises. New adventures, you say? What kind of adventures are we talking about? Well, we could explore the meadow, find hidden treasures, maybe even discover a secret stash of birdseed. Birdseed, you say? Now that sounds into Weston. Count me in, Duffy. Great. So, no more worrying about putty tats for a while. Let's just enjoy the day. Sounds like a plan, Duffy. Who knew talking a break could be so much fun? Hey there, Mr. Fod. What's cooking? Oh, hello, little buddy. I'm just out here trying to catch me some wabbits, you know? Wabbits, huh? You mean like Bugs Bunny? Ah, uh, yeah, that wabbit. Always causing trouble. Have you seen him around? Nope, not a wabbit in sight. But hey, have you ever thought about trying something different, like fishing or birdwatching? Fishing and birdwatching? That doesn't sound very exciting. I'm a hunter, not a fisherman. Well, being a hunter sounds pretty tough. Maybe you could use a break, try relaxing for a change. Relaxing? I don't have time for relaxing. I need to catch that wabbit and prove I'm a great hunter. Well, if you say so, Mr. Fod. But sometimes, talking it easy can be just as rewarding as catching wabbits. Rewarding, you say? How so? Imagine sitting by a quiet pond, watching the ripples in the water and hearing the birds sing. It's mighty peaceful. Peaceful, huh? Maybe I could use a little peace. But first, I gotta catch that wabbit. Suit yourself, Mr. Fod. Just remember, there's more to life than chasing wabbits. Take a breather once in a while. Breather, huh? Well, maybe after I catch that wabbit. But I'll think about it. Thanks for the advice, Duffy. Anytime, Mr. Fod. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to find some carrots. They're my kind of snack. Carrots, you say? That's what those wabbits like too. Maybe I can use carrots to lure Bugs Bunny into my trap. Well, good luck with that, Mr. Fod. Bugs Bunny is one tricky character, you know. Tricky or not, I'll catch him eventually. And when I do, I'll be the greatest hunter in the world. If you say so, Mr. Fod. But don't forget to enjoy the simpler things in life. Carrots are tasty, 
and so is a bit of relaxation. Relaxation, maybe after I catch that wabbit. But I appreciate your perspective, Duffy. No problem, Mr. Fodd. If you ever want to join me for a carrot snack or just take it easy, I'll be around. We'll see about that, little buddy. But for now, the hunt for Bugs Bunny continues. Oh, hi there, Mr. Fudd. What's the matter? Well, if it isn't that pesky wabbit. I mean, bird. I'm hunting you, Tweety Bird. Oh, I thought I'd a pretty tat. But it's just you, Mr. Fudd. What's the big idea? The big idea is to catch you, you little troublemaker. You always seem to slip away. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm just too quick and clever for you, Mr. Fudd. Maybe you should try a different hobby, like gardening or something. Gardening? No way, I'm a hunter. I'll get you, just you wait. Oh, I don't think so. I've got more tricks up my feathers than you can imagine. Tricks? What are you talking about? Well, for example, I could lead you on a wild goose chase while I enjoy a nice snack. Like birdseed. Hmm, <laughs> maybe I need to rethink my strategy. But mark my words, Tweety, one of these days, I'll catch you. Good luck with that, Mr. Fudd. I'll be right here, safe and sound, while you're chasing shadows. Hee <laughs> hee. That wabbit. I mean, bird, is always one step ahead. But I'll be ready next time. Oh yes, I will. Be viewy, viewy quiet, Mr. Fudd. You wouldn't want to wake up any sleeping giant wabbit. Giant wabbits? What are you talking about, Tweety? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just a little bird humor. But seriously, maybe you should try hunting something else, like butterflies or daffodils. Butterflies and daffodils? That's not the way of a true hunter. Maybe not, but it's a lot less trouble for you, and I get to keep my feathers unruffled. No, I can't give up. I'm a hunter, and I'll catch you sooner or later. What's your weakness, Tweety? Well, I guess my weakness is... I'm just too cute and clever. Can't help it, really. Cute and clever, eh? Well, we'll see about that. I've got traps and gadgets. You won't be able to resist them. Oh, traps and gadgets. How original. I've seen that rabbit chasing routine before. You may mock me now, Tweety, but just wait until I unveil my latest invention, the Ultra Mega Super Duper Wabbit Catcher 3000. The what now? It's a top secret device that'll catch you faster than you can say Wabbit season. Oh, I'm so scared. You go ahead and build your contraptions, Mr. Fudd. I'll be right here, enjoying the show. You won't be Logan when I have you in my clutches, Tweety Bird. We'll see about that, Mr. Fudd. Good luck with your gadgets and gizmos. I'm off to find some more birdseed. Hee <laughs> hee.